You might not think of the marathon as a teen sport, but don't tell that to a group of snowbirds here from Michigan. Each winter, a group of professionals, runners, who call the Detroit area home, come down to Florida to keep up their training. And they tell West 2 Sonica Dange it's making the Hanson Brooks team feel like they have the home course advantage for the Olympic trials. All right, 20 seconds faster than the marathon pace and two minutes interval. It's start more than just start, a shared Olympic everyone. goal that brings this group together. Ready? It's the camaraderie. Let's go, guys. It makes it a lot easier to get up uh, where we live in Michigan at, at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, brave the, the snow and sleet to, to get out and run with a group of guys that you care about. Of course, it's not the snow and sleet they're braving this morning during speed workouts at the National Training Center in Claremont. The ever-changing Florida winter forecast, one they're familiar with, the team flies down every winter to train. When we, we realized that Orlando was an option, uh, we were all pretty excited because we know the area so well um, and we knew we were going to be down here anyways. Uh, and so, yeah, it kind of feels like a bit of a home meet for us. Zach Panning was the top American at the World Athletics Championship in Budapest last year. He clocked in at 2.11.21, his second fastest marathon, and clinched 13th place. There, there's definitely a little bit more pressure, um, but uh, I think that's a good thing. Um, it makes me a little more nervous. He qualified for the Olympic trials in Chicago in 2022, but the marathoner was originally a hockey player going into high school. My parents really thought it was a good idea to go out for cross country, uh, stay in shape for hockey, and, and potentially get a head start on meeting some, some people. Uh, and that's, that's what really uh, led me to fall in love with running. 64. 65. He joined Kevin Hansen's running group as his dream of being an Olympian came into a conceivable reality. 13 runners on the squad representing Brooks have qualified for the trials. This past Saturday, they gave the course through downtown Orlando one last run, hoping this Saturday all of Central Florida comes out to cheer them on. It's going to be, I think, packed with people, uh, especially in the downtown part which is going to be really cool to, to kind of experience three times, four times really. Uh, and so definitely looking forward to the atmosphere um, and uh, just the, the potential that the course does have to run fast. When there are people cheering, not only for, for me, but for other people, when it's loud and it's exciting, um, you know, that, that makes things exciting for us as athletes. Uh, and I think that helps us want to put on a show uh, for the people that come out and support. And so, yeah, come out, be loud, and uh, and be exciting. In Claremont, Sonic Adange, WESH 2 News. And you can learn about more of the runners this Friday. Our WESH 2 special, Racing to Paris, airs live Friday night at 7.30 from the Dr. Phillips Center. From where to watch the race in downtown to the runners you'll want to watch. We have everything you need to come out and cheer on the Olympic hopefuls. That's Friday night at 7.30 right here on WESH 2. And make sure you're watching WESH 2 News Sunrise Saturday from 5 until 8. Sonica Dange and Sheldon Dutez will get you ready for the race. Then, of course, you can watch the marathon live on the streets of downtown Orlando or you can watch it at home live at 10 a.m. on the Peacock and then at noon right here on West 2.